Hey guys, what is up? It is Lake here coming at you with another video. Now, today I'm going to be doing a video that has been highly in just asked of me on my other video for the PS4 how to use OBS with PS4 without a capture card. And a lot of you guys don't even know how to use OBS. Now, here I got a version of OBS open, and um, I suggest this version, the 0.657B, especially if you have an AMD GPU because you can use um, encode with AMD VCE. Um, but any version will work. It's basically the same thing all throughout. Now you do see a lot of my windows. It's weird like that because I'm recording OBS with OBS because I have nothing else to record with that's anything good that will actually make a quality video. Now I'm going to show you just some basic things that you can do to add video devices and pretty much overlays and the stuff you guys were asking for. Now to create a new scene, what a scene is is basically a different uh, preset. Now inside scene 2 I have a monitor capture, um, inside gameplay uh, and face, sorry about that, inside that um, it is something completely different and that's why it does not show. So if we hit here and add a scene, we'll name it scene 4, what we can do is, hold up, let me add a monitor capture again so you can see me, um, there you go, as you can see, um, we can add a monitor capture down here so now you can see my screen um, say I wanted to add a face cam we would add a video capture device now in here as you can see we have my Elgato um, I'll get into that a video capture device is anything that captures video so say I wanted to add my Elgato right now I don't have a PS4 or anything hooked up to it I would add that um, you can configure it and uh, my game capture window pops up and all that um, but basically you can choose options for this device so if we choose the Logitech HD webcam um, I just have a C770 because I only do streaming in a little corner sometimes with my face so quality isn't like crazy for me um, and say I always set this to 720 so it's square um, you can choose any um, kind of like a audio input device all that great stuff um, so let's hit OK now we should add a video device as you can see hello there is me um, let me just uh, position this if you hit edit scene here I'm sorry about that if you hit edit scene um, we can actually move this around so let me just shrink this so we can add my face in the corner here didn't even comb my hair or anything so you know is what it is um, as we can see we do have my face in the corner here now if I want to add um, an overlay say an overlay we can add an image because uh, an Im uh, overlay is an image um, and then you could browse and say say we wanted to do this picture of city impactor as my overlay um, we'll hit OK and as you can see we have this image now if this happened to be an overlay um, and you wanted to make that bigger all you do is you select uh, the object so it's blue you hit edit scene and you can change the um, the um, sorry about that edit scene you can change the size of the picture so I can make it really big or we can make it very small in the corner so I'll leave that up there as just an example for you um, now next thing we're going to want to do is add um, let's say some text um, you wanna say uh, I don't know I can't even spell tonight it's been a long time since I've hello everyone <laughs> I, I don't know um, say we want to add text um, as you can see wherever that went see add scene oh here we go it is white text so if we want to change that we can hit properties uh, you can change anything so say we want to go to video capture device and hit properties change it so let's just go to text properties and um, color we will make this um, a black so as you can see we have hello everyone I'm gonna put that up there so you can actually see it hello everyone um, now we can stop that. So say we want to add some other things to or filters or s such, you know, whatever. You just right click, add, 
and we have all these other things. Now, game capture is very useful if you have games open. Um, so as you can see, I don't have anything. Um, I have a um, Google search open. Um, I was trying. To, I wasn't thinking. I was like, how can I record OBS if I need to record OBS and I have nothing else to record? Duh, you just use a monitor capture. But I wasn't thinking. So, but anyway. Um, every game and every application will show up here, so it records games very well. So we have a game capture open. Um, now, let me see. Image slideshow, you can have images flip through. That's pretty self-explanatory. Um, and a window capture. Window capture is the last thing I'd like to show. Um, say I wanted to see record with OBS. Hit OK. And I have that tab closed, so it's going to do that. Um, but say you did want to see that, you could do that. So... Um, let me just do something right here. Properties. Um, we'll just move this down. Um, I'll show you how to do other things here. Let me just uncheck that. Um, you can check things and uncheck them. So say I want the text on and off. Do that. Um, but basically that's our simple tutorial for OBS. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you have any more questions, leave them down below. Um, but yeah, it's really nice. You can set presets, and that's why OBS does it this way. Um, it's just very nice to be able to select all these things. And like I said, if you have any questions, let me know down below. I will try to help every single one of you. Um, but sometimes it's very hard with all the comments and questions and all that. And I try my best to get to everyone. And uh, if you see anyone that needs help down there and I'm not there at the time, if you know the answer, please help them. Um, it it helps a lot of people and it's just a good thing to do. So thanks for watching guys. Please rate, like, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in my next video guys. Peace out.